tour of the Soviet Union was a family affair. His wife, supermodel Christy Brinkley, and daughter Alexa were at his side. Today, music correspondent Rona Elliott talked with Mrs. Joel about her impressions of the tour. Good morning, Rona. Good morning, Jane. When Billy Joel and Christy Brinkley first arrived in the Soviet Union, they spent a few days vacationing in Soviet Georgia, resting up before Billy's first concert. For Christy, the trip provided some treasured new experiences, as well as some very familiar ones. <laughs> It's been interesting. I've been with him on the entire international section of the tour, and the Soviet Union has just been incredible. Now, when you walk down the street, you probably cause a minor riot here anyway. How are people responding to you? It's hard to tell whether or not it was because they recognized Billy, and fewer people recognized me, very few. But um, the fact was we were being followed by Georgian television everywhere we mm. went, and at least a half a dozen paparazzi. So um, there was quite an entourage, you know, to, to take a stroll down the street and be inconspicuous wasn't really that easy. Uh, I read where Billy said he could really empathize with Sean Penn and the paparazzi situation. How do you deal with it? I mean, you're running around with a baby, you're running around the world. How do you maintain a sense, a nugget of privacy? It's hard. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how do you do it. Um, I, I really, uh, I don't know, you know, we, we tried one day in Tbilisi to sneak out of the hotel and just get away from everybody because we really wanted to have the experience of just being the two of us and meeting the people. And we had about 15 minutes to ourselves, and then there they were, the television crew. But actually, they just told us that they're going to send us a copy of the video that they did, so they've got every second that we were there. So. It's not too bad. Oh, I might. That's right. Okay. In addition to being the subject of other people's videos, okay. Christy shot a video scrapbook of her own throughout the trip. During the show, at the end, when they're really crazy, I've got my camera, and there's a little place that I go underneath the stage, under the, where the drummer sits, there's a little ledge, and I can peek out there and see the faces all across the, you know, the, the stage. And as my camera's moving along, suddenly I'll come across a face that has spotted me under there and they'll be signaling and here they have this gesture that's just wonderful. They act like they're grabbing their heart mm -hmm. and throwing it at you. And so I'll be going along and there'll be girls going, ah, and doing all of this and suddenly there'll be a guy looking right at me. <laughs> throwing me his heart like this. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> when you live with a songwriter of the stature of Billy, do you ever like come home and secretly wish he better write a song as good as uh, Eric Clapton's Layla for me, you know? <laughs> I think he's already written better songs for me. <laughs> I mean, I think everybody knows by now that For the Longest Time was for me. The greatest miracle of all is how I need you and how you need me too has happened for the longest time is it a thrill to have someone write a song for you that becomes a hit record? Oh, yeah, of course it is. It, even if it doesn't become a hit record, it's a thrill. I mean, when he sort of threw over the, um, the words to, for the longest time, mm -hmm. said, here, it's for you. You know, it hadn't even been recorded yet, and it was a thrill. A lot of people think of you two as an idealized couple, uh, young, healthy, wealthy, happy. How do you keep it real for the two of you? I mean, that you're Billy, you're Christy, and he's Billy, and this is real life. You know, how do you keep centered like that? Well, we have to make time for each other, for one thing. It's very important because it's so easy, and, you know, both of our jobs, we could just get caught up in the fast pace. And, um... You know, with Alexa now, it's, it's also easy because she anchors us, in, not in a bad way, but in a, a beautiful way. You know, she's just there. She's, everything that's real is right there. So. Has she seen Daddy on stage? Oh, yeah, she loves it. Does she dance? Yes, she's, she's got this move we call the Alexa. Sometimes you can see uh, Billy up on stage, you know, if he catches a glimpse of us and he'll start doing the Alexa. She's been doing it since the day she was born. She hears his music. And when she hears music, any music, she goes, Daddy? She just thinks all, that he makes all music.
tomorrow in our final interview with Billy Joel from the Soviet Union. We look at Billy Joel, the writer, composer, and of course, piano man. Jane? All right, Rona, thanks a lot. We'll look forward to that. And we'll be back after message.